All right, math students, it's Ms. Applegarth again. Um, we are in chapter four, one of my favorite chapters, talking about banking. Um, lesson 4.1 is about deposits. Um, so we're going to talk about depositing money. Our lesson objective is to compute the total checking account deposit. A deposit consists of checks, currency, or coins put into a bank account. The phrase for deposit only and the account number should be written on the back of the check. This ensures a check cannot be cashed by someone else if it is lost or stolen. Your employer can also make a direct deposit of your check. This is a deposit electronically transferred from your employer's checking account to your checking account. Another way to make a deposit is to use an automated teller machine, an ATM, which performs basic banking functions such as handling check deposits, issuing cash withdrawals. To use an ATM, you need an ATM card and a personal identification number or a PIN. This card's, uh, card allows you access to your bank account and deposit your check into the machine. Business owners should always deposit all of the money received in order to establish what accountants call a money trail. They should always deposit all of the money received, currency, coin, and checks, and then separately withdraw cash for the business. Um, one more way you can deposit money is um, some banks have a um, app where you can take a picture of the check and um, it automatically will transfer into your account. All right, our total deposit. Oh, I should not use blue for that. Blue on blue. Our total deposit is our currency, that's our paper money, our coins, which is our jingle jangle money, and um, the checks. Add all those together and then minus the cash that you're taking back out. So if you need um, some cash to, to from your deposit, um, I know it seems like bizarre because you go, if I am taking $25 out, then why would I deposit the $25 and then minus the cash? So this is what they're calling about the paper trail. Um, for businesses, so that your receipts match your deposit and it shows integrity in, um, in the amount in your business transactions, you, you deposit all of it and then ask for um, cash back. Okay, let's see some examples. Um, Manuel Romero is making a deposit to his checking account. He has checks for 435.20, 271.19, and 327.96. His cash consists of 15 $1 bills. Seven five dollar bills, three ten dollar bills, one and four quarters, five dimes, fifteen nickels, and fourteen pennies. He also withdraws seventy five dollars in cash. What is his total deposit? So um, one thing I want I want to make sure you guys note is um, what all what each of the change items is. So his paper money. He is going to have 15 $1 bills, so that's $15. He is going to have seven $5 bills. He is going to have three $10 bills. So that's 15, 35, and 30. So that's 80 bucks altogether in paper money. He has 25, or sorry, 24 quarters. Quarters is worth $0.25. Five dimes. Let me get my view. I feel like we should just be a little bit bigger here. Five dimes. So dimes is 0 0.10. 15 nickels. Nickels is 0 0.05. And 14 pennies. That's 0.14. So that's six dollars and quarters. 50 cents in dimes, 75 cents in nickels, and 14 cents in pennies. Add all those together, 
and we are at $7.39, so let me track the stuff that we're going to add together. And then so our total deposit is going to be our $80 from the paper money, $7.39 from the jingle jangle, the coins, all of our checks, add all that together, we get $1,121, and then you're going to subtract out the $75. All right, so let me show you on here how that's going to look on a deposit slip. So if you haven't been into a bank and done a deposit slip, boy, you're missing out. Um, I, I bank with Schools Bank, and um, you just bring them their money, and they you don't have even do a deposit slip. But I've also done um, banking at Union Bank, and you do a deposit slip. So um, you can always ask the teller what they want you to do um, if you're uncertain. All right, so cash. Our currency, if, if their deposit slip asks you for the currency, this is the paper money, not the checks. So our paper money was $80. Our coins were $7.39. Um, this line right here is like the decimal point. They already have our checks listed. Thanks, guys. Um, our subtotal of all of their items is this. One, one, two, one, seven, four. And then we're going to minus out the $75, so it's going to be 1046.74. All right, and then our deposit slips all filled out. All right, so let's take a look at one and two. I'm going to show my work below, so um, we'll, we'll work here. Oh, no, green. Okay, number one, Emily has two checks. 23109 and 98767. She's got cash, so I'm going to do my cash total here. Nine $1 bills, nine $5 bills, that's 45. Eight $10 bills, that's 80. 14 quarters, so this is the coin. 14 times 0.25. is three dollars and fifty cents. Twenty-five dimes. Which is two dollars and fifty cents. I can do that without the calculator. Eighteen nickels, eighteen nickels. Make sure you guys are putting your decimals down correctly. That's 90 cents. And 64 pennies. I don't need a calculator for that. She received $40 cash. Okay, so let's total these. Um, actually, let's, let's total the currency. So that's 9 plus 45 plus 80, 134. Let's get the coins added together. 350, it's 250, 90 cents, and 64 cents, 754. All right, so we're going to add all these together. We're also going to add the 134 and the 754 get the subtotal, and then we're going to subtract out $40 in cash. Okay. 
So we got 231, 987.67, 134, 754, subtotal 1360 and 30 cents, and minus $40. So our total deposit. $1,320.30. All right, let's do number two together. We'll do it in red over here. Jacob had two checks, 341.79 and 17.96. He has, let me do all my paper money. 35 $1 bills, 17 $5 bills, 17 times 5, let's figure that out, it's 85, 44 $10 bills, I know what that is, that's 440, and 54 quarters, Fifty-four times point two five. Thirteen fifty. Thirty-six dimes. I know that's three dollars and sixty cents. Thirty-two nickels. That again, a uh, dollar sixty and twenty one pennies. All right, so let's total those up. So thirteen fifty, three sixty, dollar sixty, twenty one cents, eighteen ninety one. You guys take your time whenever you're doing these because there are like so many numbers rolling around and it's so easy to get lost or mistype something and then it's not that you don't know what you're doing, it's just that we've mistyped. So just double, double check, 560. So we're gonna add our checks we're going to add 560 and we're going to add 1891. Um, and it's, does he get less cash? No. Okay. So no cash back off of this one. So we go 341, 79, 17, 96. 560, 1891, 938.66. All right, is this the total deposit? Okay. All right, so this is new for this semester, you guys. We are um, going to be uh, using the video as our filled in notes and practice. So um, here it is, here's the answers. I do expect you to show all your work. If you do not show your work and you just put these answers down, um, you will not get credit for the assignment, but here it is so you can check to make sure that you're doing it correctly. All right, thanks, have a great day.